Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wave, and man, tonight's game was not a good game at all. In the Charlotte Hornets last summer league game, they end up losing to the Chicago Bulls 99 to 74. And let's just say, this was LiAngelo Ball's worst game out of his summer league, and it heavily impacted his stats. But before we break down his game, and what went wrong in tonight's game with LiAngelo and the Hornets, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on the bell, and with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Tonight's game, LiAngelo Ball played one of his worst games where he scored six points, one rebound shot, 0 for five from the three point land. Shot 3 for 13 from the field and played 22 minutes. Yes, 3 for 13 from the field and 0 for 5 from 3. Those are some sad stats, but luckily he's not the only one that played bad on the team. I'm going to pull up the whole box score. You guys can see literally everybody played horrendous. DJ Carton had 2 points. You know, Mahoney had 3 points. Kai Williams, zero points. You know, it's not looking good right now. Off the bench, nobody really did anything other than Scotty Lewis and JT Thor, who had the balls for majority of the game. But let's talk about Lee Anslow, 0 for 5 from the 3. Yes. Now, I'm going to be the first one to see it. Whenever Lee Anslow has a good game, we're always on this channel, you know, applauding Jello, praising him, and, you know, giving him his props. But when he has a bad game, we're going to speak the truth. And the truth is, in this game, Lee Angelo's shot wasn't on. Now, that's not to say that Lee Angelo Ball had a bad, you know, game because most of his shots were open and he had some good looks to the basket, but his shot just wasn't falling. It was one of those cold street games, you know, Lee Angelo Ball missed some wide open threes that he was supposed to make. He drove to the basket uh, and he missed some easy floaters, you know, eight foot jumpers that he usually makes. Uh, the only points Lee Angelo Ball did make tonight was, I believe, three layups. Uh, he also did have a dunk, which is, you know, kind of impressive to see and something we haven't seen out of Lee Angelo this whole summer league. So that was cool to see. Uh, Lee Angelo Ball also did get a rebound and put it back up. And the other point, I believe, was just a simple layup to the basket. In this game, this was one of the worst games to watch in, in you know, summer league history. The Chicago Bulls were just absolutely dominating the Hornets. And in this game, Lee Angelo came out very sluggish. It didn't seem like he had that same energy as the last previous games. A ever since his first three missed shots, I knew that this was going to be a bad game for Lee Angelo. But as of now, Overtime just updated it. These are Lee Angelo Ball's official Summer League stats. 9.6 points per game, 2.0 rebounds per game, 1.6 steals per game. He shot 37.5 percent from the field goal 34.5 percent from the three-point line and 15.4 minutes per game now coming into this game his three-point percentage was 44 now it's a 34.5 now his stats are kind of starting to look like a g league player but to be honest even after this you know bad shooting night i still believe lee angelo ball has a spot on the training camp uh, I believe that Lee Ball has done enough in the first four games to prove his spot and, you know, have a spot already saved for him in the training camp. Now, that's not to say that he's going to make the NBA, you know. Uh, I do think that the best case scenario, he's going to already have a G League spot available in Greensboro Swarm because he's just done enough, you know. It's not like Lee Angelo is the only one that's had a bad game. You guys saw it in the box score, you know, everybody shot horrible. Uh, you know, it was just a bad night overall from everybody. Um, you know, Koboka shot two for seven, one for six on the three-point line. DJ Carton, who started for no reason, 0 for five from the field, 0 for three from the three-point land. Uh, you know, Mahoney, one for four. Uh, Kai Jones had a decent game, six for 13, 16 points. But those positions are different. Um, other than that, nobody really had a crazy game. But, you know, Lee Anslow's going to have nights like this because his whole life, Lee Anslow's been taught to keep shooting and not worry about uh, shooting percentages. Lavar's literally came out in interviews and told us that uh, growing up, Lee Angelo Ball didn't believe in uh, shooting stats and percentages. Like, they didn't believe in percentages. So, to Lee Angelo, uh, obviously, you could see him kind of getting frustrated out there on the court, but you can't really blame the kid because everybody was trying to play for themselves. You guys saw in the past couple of, you know, 
ever since that first game, the Charlotte Hornets, Summer League, other players were trying to freeze out Leangelo and not pass the ball to him. There were plenty of times, even in this game, where Leangelo Bow would have a wide open cut to the basket, but nobody would seem to pass to him. Everybody would want to be shellfish and just look for their own shot. And that's not what it's all about, you know. I do believe that if that Leangelo does make this Hornets team, his game is, you know, going to change drastically if he plays with Lamelo, just because there's a real point guard that knows what he's doing. He's played with Leangelo his whole life growing up, and that chemistry is going to be something special and to watch out for. It just felt like Leangelo couldn't hit a shot to save his life tonight. You know, he was driving to the basket, and even his layups weren't falling. Uh, you know, he tried shooting the ball. He had many open looks, but just couldn't get it going from the three-point land. 0 for 6, and I know the Hornets coaching staff is looking at this, but they have to take into account. Look at where everybody else shot. Lee Angelo's not the only one that did bat this game, but honestly, I wish this fifth game just never even happened because it just completely demolished his stats from shooting 44% from the three-point land to now 34.5% from the three. That's, you know, a big difference and his points per game went from like 12 to 9.6. You know, it's just not good overall what happened to Leangelo Ball's official Summer League averages. But for Leangelo, I'd still say that the Summer League has been a W. You know, he's impressed more people than he's disappointed. Uh, he's, you know, shocked me uh, by far. You know, I expected Leangelo to, you know, his best game be maybe 10 points, but Coming out in the first game, he really set the standards high, and I'm still proud of Leangelo. Obviously, this game was a bad shooting night for everybody, but for Leangelo, um, those shots are going to fall. You know, it just wasn't his shoot game tonight, and that's something Leangelo is going to have to learn that, you know, it's not like high school where he can keep shooting and that percentages do matter in the NBA, unfortunately, and coaches do look at that. But this is going to end off the video. Let me know what you guys think about LiAngelo Bell's performance tonight. Again, not a very impressive performance. Only 6 points, 1 rebound, 0 for 5 from the 3-point land, 3 for 13 from the field in 22 minutes. Uh, I still think that he has a guaranteed spot at the training camp because he's just done enough in the past 3 games like I already said. But get in the comment section. Let me know. How do you guys think that LiAngelo Bell's game... You know, his last game affects his overall uh, chance of making the Hornets official roster or the G League roster. I think the general narrative is that people already think that Leon's Lobo is a lock for the G League team, which I agree with. But again, get in the comment section. Let me know um, what did you think of this game. It was one of the worst basketball games I've ever seen. It's such a boring game. No defense by the Hornets. And... It was so sad to see Leanne's Ball keep shooting. I just wish he didn't shoot 13 shots. He did shoot the most shots on the team, which is, you know, it's it's something to look at. But, you know, I don't want to stretch this video too long. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. If you made it this far, comment down below. Wave so I can know you're a real one. We've been getting a lot of comments, you know, like that. So the support has been real. And with all that being said, Leangelo, you played well this summer league and you definitely have guaranteed yourself a certified G League spot, maybe NBA spot if you prove yourself in training camp, but that is the story to be told. And with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.